Hi, this is Matt at AppWorks, and today's cool trick is about case-sensitive functions in FileMaker. So we're going to work only in Data Viewer. We won't even have a database open to talk about this um, because we can actually show everything we need to do right in Data Viewer. As you probably know, most functions in FileMaker are not case sensitive. So for example, if I use a let function to define uh, a script variable called $value a, um, and then I evaluate that variable right here, I can see the value is just the phrase, this is a case sensitive test. And case is uppercase because basically I just typed it in that way. So if I try to evaluate value a but I grab it with a uppercase A, it still works just fine because um, that FileMaker doesn't really care about case. I could even like make the A uppercase. I could do whatever I want as long as everything else is spelled correctly in this variable. Okay, there are four functions in FileMaker that are case sensitive, and let's talk about each of those. One of them is a substitute command. So the substitute function um, will substitute one value for another, and it will only do it uh, exactly based on case. So if I say substitute the value case, but I put A in lowercase, then it doesn't see that word because it doesn't exactly match. But if I, as, as long as it matches exactly the word uppercase case, then it will substitute it with whatever I want. I can put fun. This is a fun sensitive test. Okay, the next one is filter. Filter um, will take a specific list of letters and um, replace them in the function, in, the, in the, the variable, the string that you're looking at. So if I, if I look to the value function, the value um, script variable, I can substitute out, filter out all of the letters that are, that are these uppercase letters in the alphabet. And so if I look at the value for A, it's this is a case sensitive test. The only uppercase letters are the first T and then the word case. So filter using the uppercase alphabet comes to T case. Filter using the lowercase alphabet comes with all the other letters that are all lowercase in that. That's filter, pretty straightforward. Exact basically does a simple test. So if, if this exactly matches that, then the result would be positive. So if I say ABC uppercase, then that says that's a positive match. So the exact function also is case sensitive. Um, and that's a pretty straightforward one. It's kind of a good way to test something. Like if you want to see, um, I use this for cleaning an address. I say if the, uh, because sometimes you get address data and it'll be like, you know, one, two, three, Warner Street. And if Warner Street's all uppercase, I want to run a lowercase function on it, uh, a proper case function or something like that to, to make it look better. And so the exact function is kind of a good way to tell if that script has been run or not. And the last one is a newer one to FileMaker, comes with the JSON functions. So I use JSON a lot like I use script variables, and it's to pass multiple parameters. So we have this little let function here that creates a JSON um, string with two essentially variables, um, two values, so test one and test two. And I've, I've named those also in one of them's uppercase, one of them's lowercase. Um, so if I use the JSON get element function and I don't spell it correctly, then it won't work correctly. So I can see it's actually test one is all uppercase. And so this will not get the element unless I actually spell this right. So, and there it is. As soon as I spell it correctly with the uppercase characters, then it works um, the way that I want. So working with JSON, there's a little bit of an adaptation. You have to make sure things are, are consistent. Um, given that, we have found that the easiest way to do it is to just always use lowercase when you're working with um, script variables, well, specifically JSON functions. And so we've kind of let that bleed over and use all lowercase everywhere. And so variables these days for what we, what we do are just like this, um, underscore value, or value underscore A. Thanks very much for your time.